for yourself. Then said, I know, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Hear that? It's written of Mashiach Yahushai. I delight to do thy will, O my power. Yeah, thy law is within my heart. So he followed the laws, the commandments of the Most High. Same thing you see, repeated in Hebrews 10 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O Most High. What was it written? We just read it in Psalm 47. That's why you're looking at the New Testament as something new. No, it's just giving us understanding of the Old Testament. <laughs> Look at Luke, the fourth chapter. Luke, the fourth chapter, the fifth verse. This one of my shock, y'all was had fasted. 40 days and 40 nights. And who comes? Here comes Satan. Here come the devil. Here come the Satan. Here come the beast. Here come the dragon. Here come the spirit of sin. Luke 4, chapter, the fifth verse. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. So Satan took him up to a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time, including this wicked kingdom of Sodom and Egypt, America. It says, and the devil said unto him, all this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me. And to whomsoever I will, I give it. What's the condition? You want all this power? The rule of all these kingdoms that's what come on the earth? What did he say? If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. So what did he tell me? He said, if he worships Satan, you bow down and worship me, all shall be thine. So how did everybody got this kingdom? These kingdoms that they've been in charge of, and including today, by bowing down to Satan. Then the Mashiach of Shach answered and said unto him, verse 8, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the most high of thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. You got to hear what he's telling him. He telling Satan, say, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou, you, Satan, shalt worship the most high, your power, Satan, and him, the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, only shall thou serve. That's what he told him. But where did he go? He went for all you that don't believe that we got to follow the law. He went to the law. That's where he went. That's where he went. In Deuteronomy 6, chapter. And everything that he said was from the law. When he said he would like to do the law, of the Most High, Deuteronomy 6 and 13. Deuteronomy 6 and 13. Thou shalt fear the Most High, thy power, your power, and serve him, and swear, and shall swear by his name. See? That's what's written. And that's what he had to go by. Job 9, 24. But you see, people are following the way of those that are wicked. That's why it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is it? They said the earth is given to the head of the wicked. So the wicked man covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is it? Because the Mashiach got a shot coming back to judge to make war. He told the apostles they're going to sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. These are imposters, 13 imposters. This is the Borgia family. Five people in this picture, point blank. 
2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, the third verse. Well, you got to really look at this time period because even though people are not knowing the truth, but at the same time, they still honoring their thing, you know, Amashiach, y'all was shocked with the Easter and with Passover. He's getting elevated. He's getting exalted. Right now, that's why a lot of things got to be very, very covered. Because a lot of things can happen during this time that's negative. Got to be on your P's and Q's, people. Make sure you don't slip. Don't let nobody slip. Nothing on you. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 4th chapter, the 3rd verse. But if our gospel be here, if what it is that you hear is here, it is here to them that are lost. See, it's here to them that are lost. In whom the power of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. I mean, you got to look at this for real. Come on. Now, they don't bow down to Satan. Point blank. Now, they bow down to Satan. Now, what they going to bring forth? The understanding of Satan. Well, it says, in whom the God of this world, the the power of this world, have blinded the minds, these ones that's lost, of them which believe not. They don't believe. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach Yahushai, who is the image of the Most High, meaning that's to see the Son of the Most High, in the bosom of the Most High, should shine unto them. They should see this. But, you know, what can I say? They're lost because they're following the way of this world. And the way of this world is, is set up to send you straight to hell. It's set up to send you straight to hell. Look at our second Corinthians 11 and 14. And no matter, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. See, Satan is going to appear as an angel of light. That's why you see people in these religions and so forth. I'm sorry, they give us no religion. Religion comes from a Latin word, religio, meaning to hold back, keep down on the strain. That's what it's doing to our people, holding them back, keeping them down on the strain. You come in this truth, you got to start off like a child. That's why people come in the truth, they want to try and compare the truth to some religion that they came out of. No, nah, you got to start all over again. Because you're going to end up being wrong. Because you will come up with their sayings, the things that Satan has brought forth. What is he coming? What does he transform himself into? An angel of light, transformers. You know, he can change for you. Now he's like he's a preacher, like he's a teacher of his word. Come on, don't get it twisted. We didn't pray. He brought the word to a Mashiach El Shah. Mashiach El Shah kept cutting with the law of the Most High. So don't get it twisted. He appeared as an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers, the ones that's followed under him, also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. You gotta understand this. Just because somebody knows scriptures don't mean that they're righteous. That don't mean nothing. Like all like the Spirit gave me to tell everybody, what you're doing when the book is closed, that's how you know righteousness. What's your sacrifice for this? Where's, where's your righteousness in being righteous? Learning it, living it, applying it in your life. We say, therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. The end will be according to their works. Mind you, ain't nobody getting away with nothing. None of us. Because we all will be to judge people, Mashiach, Yahushua. And it's coming. You know it's coming. You better be ready, that's all I can tell you. You better be ready. Acts 26 and 18. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. Why you got, why we gotta turn, why you gotta turn us from darkness to light? Hold that, get Isaiah 60 and 2. Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness, which is ignorance, which is not knowing, which is being stupid. Behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, which is ignorance, not knowing, and gross darkness to people. Come on. Gross darkness to people. But the Most High shall arise 
upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Only the one third of the twelve tribes of Israel. Now going back to Acts 26 and 18. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. Turn them from darkness, ignorance, gross ignorance. Because we know the people are in gross darkness, gross ignorance. So to turn them from being in ignorance to this light. And from the power of Satan unto the most high. Because look, look, if you don't have this truth, then you deal with Satan. More than more likely when you talk to people, those spirits in them is Satan. But you don't know it because you gotta know enough of the truth to, to be able to recognize the spirits that's in these people. Because he getting people and he make them do what he wanna do. He make them say what he wanted to say. Demons and people. You check it out, man. Psychiatrists, they can't figure this out. They don't want to they talk to the people that have these demons. They talk to them. They be talking to them. They be answering them. They be talking to them all the time. I seen a case there where the cat was like, got rid of them. He missed them. So used to them. I mean, some of you are so used to these spirits that you have that when you, you know, you're talking about being cleaned up, you can't be cleaned up because you don't want to let them go. And they don't want to let you go. And you know You better become that new man. You better be born again. You better become that new creature and let it go and deal with whatever you got to deal with to make yourself better in the questions of the whole side. Hear what it said? To open their eyes so you can see. Stop being blind and to turn from darkness to light. What's this like? Proverbs 6 23. Proverbs 6 and 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So they turn you to the law of the Most High, because what the world say? You ain't under the law. And a lot of you say, this is what you're supposed to be doing, you want to come up with an excuse and do whatever you want to do. Your own precepts. You want to make it be like you want to do. You got to understand, the Most High is a consuming fire. When you start burning people up and killing people, you're going to recognize them. Because that's what's going to lead you to everlasting life, is doing what's right according to the laws of the Most High. And having faith in the Mashiach Yahushua, because here he comes again and tell you, just like it says right here in St. John, the first chapter and the fifth verse. I'll read verse 4. And him was life, so Mashiach Yahushua, and the life was the light of men. His life, his, he was an example to show us how to follow the laws of the Most High. That's why it says, in the light shining in darkness. So he shone himself in the darkness of what world? Who world was he in when he came on earth? I'm asking y'all a question. Who world was he in? Since he says the light was shining in darkness, what world was he in? What world did he, this light come into that was darkness? Whose world was that? Because it says the light shining in darkness. What's this talking about? I'm asking y'all a question on the conference call. Romans, kind of. Right. So he's bringing back the law to us, showing us how to follow the law among the darkness. The Romans are so called Italian Caucasians, the Edomites. So here we are in the same predicament as the Israelites scattered among these Edomites, scattered among all these nations, period. And he said, learn not to wear the heathen. But whatever he does, he learns a trap for us. Well, we got to come out of that. We got to come out to the laws of the Most High to be righteous in his eyes. The heck with anybody else think. This is about your own salvation. You can't take your daddy, your mama, your, your, your wife, your husband, your children. You can't take nobody, your nephew, your uncle, your aunt, your niece. You can't take nobody, your cousin, nobody but yourself. Every last one of us is going to meet the judgment seat by ourselves. And it's getting closer and closer. When you start, when you start seeing death, because that's the only time you get our, our attention. You're going to see it in a bunch. You're going to be a whole lot of Michael Browns. Sad to say, but it's, that's the only time the most I got our attention when we cried to him. 
People don't fear the most high. They ain't afraid of the most high. They don't, they're not scared of the most high. People do whatever they want to do. And then when he tap that ass, when he do something that, that make you want to bow down, you bow down temporarily. Then you go back to the same thinking that you had before you bow down. You better believe that it's going to come a time when you bow down, you don't do nothing but bow down. From that point on. Because that mercy and grace will be lifted off of Israel. I'm telling you. It's written. He's going to start with his family first. But see, y'all think, oh, you think you know, just because you know the scripture, just because you call yourself an Israelite, you all right. You ain't all right. It said a righteous guest is going to be saved. That's why Moshe Hoshua came and said, what? He says, John said, John 1 and 4, in him was life. And the life was the life of men. His life was the life of men. It's, listen, to show us how to follow the law. Listen. And the light shined up in darkness. This, he showed us how to shine in darkness. Because we in gross darkness, people. Gross ignorance our people in. You talk to them, they be out of space somewhere. They done went all the way to their minds all the way up, up, up beyond blue tell. We talk to our people saying, look, we the chosen people of the most high. You ain't give through to them. But yeah. This is Sabbath. People out here, they doing whatever they want to do. Probably somewhere watching the game or, or kicking it, you know, probably smoking weed, getting drunk, doing everything, partying, doing all the things. That's contrary. It's even some that know that they have been in Sabbath class every single Sabbath day. Out there doing whatever they want. They holding it down. May hopefully tomorrow. But maybe not. So I say the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended not. So if you're in darkness, you're not gonna comprehend this. If you're in ignorant, you ain't gonna comprehend this. They say the darkness comprehended not. The people in gross darkness. So all we can do is bring forth this message. Hopefully you hear and realize there'll come a time that you're not gonna be able to get this. It's gonna come a time, people, you're not gonna be able to get this. And I hope it's enough that's been shown to you that you really study it to really see the importance of the spiritual part of all of this. Ephesians, the fourth chapter, in the 18th verse. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is in them. Because of the blindness, of their heart, the blindness of their mind. See that? Having the understanding darkened. Having the understanding they walk around in ignorance. Talking about it don't matter what color a Mashiach ever shy was. As long as his blood was red, it was shed for me. It was shed. He died for everybody. His blood was shed for everybody. You know what they say? He died for the world, for everybody. They don't say that in the Bible. Oh, John 3, 16. Oh, for God, who God say he is? The power of who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. Now where you going? He not the power of no other nation. But let y'all tell him, he the power of everybody. He loved everybody. He don't love everybody. He say, Jacob have I love That's I will. Show me where he say he love everybody. He said he loved Esau, he loved Hamza, he loved Ishmael, he loved Moab, he loved Elon, he loved Ham. Show me that. Show me a scripture that says that. I can show you where he say he loved Jacob. In Romans 9 and 13. See, that's why I say, that's why you hear what it's saying here. Ephesians 4 and 18, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of the most high through the ignorance that is in them. Do you realize you can alienate yourself from the most high by being ignorant, not knowing? 
Y'all gotta understand it. That's why I keep telling you. That's why he told you. Look, in a second.